Right then, what we have here are two open GD77 radios and one open RD5R. Pretty much the same firmware. And um, they're all on the same channel. Um, but <clears throat> I'm just going to demonstrate uh, a few things on how to receive on DMR. So the first thing you want to know is are you getting a DMR signal? So the best way I've ever found to do that on virtually any radio is switch it to FM. Um, might sound absolutely mad, but switch it to FM. So if you hear that noise, that is the reception of DMR. Now, the, the problem with that is that it does also have to be off on frequency. So where FM will let you get away with a couple of K either side um, and will probably still receive that drumming, you've got to make sure you get the frequency right. Right, the next issue I'm going to try is this. Test one, two. Test one, two. Right. This radio lit up, but this one received it. But the receive light came on this, but nothing came through. So I grab this radio, test one, test one, two. Again, this radio received it, but this lit up to show that it was receiving, but didn't actually receive anything. And if I go back to those with the same radio, this is a simplex frequency, by the way. Test one two, test one two. Test one two, test one two. They both light to show the game <coughs> the signal. Now they're both on a simplex frequency, by the way. So remember the fact that I've now ruled out the fact that it's on the wrong frequency because this one receives it, and it's all transmitting on the same frequency. So what's going on there? Well. This one will show you what's going on there. So, with a press of your orange button, or an RD5R, a long press of your orange button, okay, you will come to the filters. Now, you will notice that I have the time slot filter turned off, the color code filter turned off, and the DMR filter on none. So, first things first, I'm going to turn the color code filter on. And we're going to go back to this. Test one, two. Test one, two. Now none of these receive. Test one, yes, one two. two. But this one here, this one here, still sends to this one. So the chances are that this one here is on the wrong color code. Um, and, and we'll prove that because we'll go, go back to turning the color code to off and it's you see this black bar around it on time slot on the color code it means that it's filters off and on DMR it's the opposite way around for some unknown reason um, for the uh, for the talk groups uh, anyway if you notice it's listening on CC one one two one two one two one two one two but when it actually receives it switches to color code three so that radio there is on color code three and that's why um, it's not sending to this one because this one here is on color code one because it was receiving before when this one was on color code one and if I now pick this one up test one, test two, one, two, test one, test one two. two it now jump to color code one right <clears throat> The other thing is that talk groups. So if we now shift this one, so I'm just done for testing purposes more than anything. Oops, that's that button, isn't it? That's it, and save it. So now, test one, two. Both radios receive it, which is good. I now get the semi stereo effect. However, if I now turn the filters, the color code filter back on as well, it should still receive. So, test one, test two, one two, test one, test two. one two. 
Right, next issue. We are going to work out one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Why that transmits to that and that, but this one, when I transmit, is not heard on this one and this one. Test one, Test two. one two. Test one, Test two. one two. Ah, that's interesting. It is heard on this one, which means, yes, if I look in the top corner there, DMR filter is turned off. So if I just quickly turn that on. Oops, press the OK button on this one. It now should no longer receive test one, two, test one, two. That's it. They both see the signal but don't receive it. Test one, two, test one, two. And the reason for that is because these were in, uh, sorry, this one here is in promiscuous mode. It's actually transmitting on talk group nine, slot one. These are listening on talk group one. So if I change this one up to talk group nine, oops, that's the, uh, talk group nine, slot one, and change this one up to talk group nine, slot one. Now if I test one, two, test one, two. They both hear each other. So, going back to promiscuous mode, that's actually what it does. Color code filter, what it actually does is it just keeps cycling around all the color code filters really quickly. So what will actually happen if you leave that off, although you'll hear all the transmissions on any color code, um, the first half a second will probably be broken and stuttery. Um, but it's great to find uh, and error check uh, where you're going wrong. Time slot filter is, again, uh, if you're transmitting on time slot 2 and you should be on 1, um, it will show up uh, on, the, on the screen there. But if it's on off, um, you'll receive both. Not transmit, you'll only transmit on what you're set to transmit on. So be wary of that if someone else is transmitting on two uh, and you can receive them on two but you're going back on one, um, you won't be able to have a conversation. And the DMR filter, well, might as well we call it the talk group filter because um, you've got there's various settings for it so you can go for a receive group. Um, not sure what CT is actually. Um, or the talk group, probably want it on talk group. Uh, because then you can just select what talk group you're on and uh, and go for it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the basic promiscuous mode, um, why you'd probably need it, and um, how it would hopefully help you debug. Right, I did forget to mention about time slot. Now, time slot's just important because you need to be on the same time slot. So what's going on with time slot? Now... To know that this radio is on FM. One, two. And let's just turn this one off because we don't want to hear ourselves. Right. <clears throat> and you see the signal meter bouncing up and down. And uh, the reason for that is because how DMR transmissions work it's not sending a constant signal it's not a constant carrier like fm <clears throat> over a second it's only transmitting half a second so that's why you hear this short burst of data going and it's also the reason uh why you can't just use any amplifiers on the dmr they have to be capable of switching very very fast um because you know over the um hang on over a second, that's transmitted God knows how many times, um, and, and I couldn't tell you how many because um, I actually don't know um, the, the, the frequency of the, the time. But what happens is that it transmits and it stops and it transmits and it stops and it transmits and it stops. 
and the idea being is that it stops for as long as it transmits as well and um, <clears throat> that's uh, doing that currently on talk group one uh, sorry on slot one if a radio is then to transmit on slot two it interweaves itself on the slot one signal so uh, when slot one is not talking slot two is and when slot one isn't uh, is slot two isn't so um, it's then using it is then transmitting all the time but from two different radios um, very very cleverly done but that's what's going on with time slot that's why you can obtain two um, chats on one frequency on one frequency at the same time um, you know a lot of a lot of people tell you oh, no, you can you can get hundreds and hundreds because it's digital you can't complete horse rubbish um, I'm not gonna go there uh, it's to do with the fact that you're you're then switching the repeater to send you uh, different data on that second slot um, but really you can only have uh, two audio streams going at once and um, but you know, it is the advantage, the main advantage of DMR over FM. Um, you know, because if you've got your repeater, if you can get two audio streams going over it, uh, rather than one, um, that's what's going on. So, um, yeah. So, <clears throat> going back to that, um, the the time slot is important, uh, whether it's one or two. Now, I don't know whether you've got the same. Um, builds that I have um, but uh, you see I, um, I've not actually got my time slot filters hang on a sec let's just uh, switch that back to DMR I've not actually got my time slot filters well I have actually got the time slot filter turned on on this one but if I send to it from this one on time slot 1 test 1 test right. and I send it to this from time slot two, test one, test two. one two, it will still receive. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into that too much, but it shouldn't do. Um, you know, gen if it's the the actual DMR specification, that that should not be possible. 